Hello everyone, I got this Weber Q grill for free from a colleague. Um, it works really well, except uh, the grate uh, has rusted. Um, so as you can see, let me room in. So this is the rust. Let me try to brush um, off the, the, the rust as much as possible. Okay, so I've uh, brushed this side pretty hard. And uh, as you can see, um, the brushing doesn't really remove a lot of uh, the rust, but it does surface the rust, uh, you know, a little bit better. So I think uh, that helps, you know, because it reacts with the vinegar uh, a little bit better that way. Okay, uh, I just uh, flipped it over. And as you can see, it doesn't look very nice. It's a lot of uh, rust as well. Okay, so after some serious brushing we can see uh uh we we did uh, expose a lot of uh you know a lot more rust okay after uh more brushing um you can see the uh, severity of the uh, the rust um it ate um into the uh, the iron quite a bit i would say um if you see the dents it's quite uh, amazing so now they're in um uh, plastic uh buckets already um, let's uh, pour the vinegar in. So this is one gallon. Um, in total, I got two in a box from Costco and that costs only $5. So it's pretty cheap. Okay. And I, I checked online um, that, you know, plastic doesn't really react to... Uh, uh, to white vinegar, so it's safe to use uh, a plastic bucket. So it's been a while, it's been a, a little bit more than 24 hours and uh, I'm seeing a lot of air bubbles. I assume it's made a pretty good progress. So as it turns out, the vinegar does expose all the rust. Um, uh, for example, here. If you just uh, rub it, the rust does, uh, you know, come off quite easily. So let's uh, give it a rinse and see what happens. This is how it looks like um, after some uh, brushing and uh, rinsing. So see, you can actually see the metal color already. Um, you know, you see, this is uh, silver, I would say. Uh, and you can still see a little bit of uh, rust here. So if we scrub really hard, I think those are going to come off. This is the other side. This has rusted uh, way worse than I, I, I have uh, imagined, you see. This is all uh, rusted. So I just did what I, have, uh, what I should have done um, by using a screwdriver um, to remove quite a bit of... Uh, you know, the gunks, um, and as well as the rust. See how thin this has become. And it's still, you can still see quite a bit of rust on it. If this is what you face, I would say just uh, spend $30 and buy, you know, um, buy some new grades. All right, folks, this is after uh, another 30 hours, as you can see. The color of the vinegar is no longer clear. But altogether, it's been uh, more than 50 hours and you still can see a lot of rust. But the good news is <clears throat> over here, you can see uh, some of the metal color already. This is how it looks like after it's, uh, it's mostly dry. Uh, you can see some metal color, uh, still a lot of rust. So this is the plan, okay? Let's see how it works. We'll get start from get started from here. Let's use the drill so it won't stop. Okay, so I would say it's really effective. So you can see, uh, uh, this is all metal color now. So what's up folks, 
I have been busy, so uh, I th I think it's uh, th two three days, you know, um, and since we've uh, last uh, shot a videos on this. But um, as you can see, it still smells like vinegar, but uh, y you can't really see the grades that clearly anymore. It's become something that's quite magnificent. Let me try to remove the flake first um, and see if that's going to uh, speed up the process. And see here, it's a, a piece of flake. Just like that, you can remove it. You see? All right, folks, after hours of uh, work, um, we're back to square one. But you see the grates are pretty clean at this point, but there are still some rust. So um, uh, I think we need to go through layers of flakes um, before we can uh, call it done. So I uh, changed the vinegar. So now it's all clear at this point, And then I put in a lot of kosher salt okay now we're back after a few days um and by the way the vinegar was uh uh clear um i changed it uh two days ago um and you see um it's still um um uncovers um some uh, rust and this is still pretty rusted as you can see but i'm I'm really happy about this you know um the the more you soak uh the grates in the vinegar the more um rust that you can reveal this is the other grate that's more uh rusty so you see a lot of uh, rust has been surfaced so you can't you can actually grind it all the way down like uh, at some point you know um the rust uh, rusted iron would would have a uh, quite a bit of uh, resistance against the wire brush so still you need to soften it uh using vinegar and then you go uh one layer down so right now I'm trying to dry the grates. Um, I just uh, rinsed it. So as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty rusty still. This is all rust here. And you see this whole thing is rust. So one way or the other, you see how vinegar has helped so much. With a screwdriver, you can kind of remove it already. It is very interesting that after some grinding uh, or brushing, you know, you you will feel like, oh, this is all metal color, and it's uh, no rust, no more, you know, you know. Um, but it's wrong. If you see, I just use my chisel or screwdriver to remove this uh, whole piece. So this is rust for sure. So it's a although it's a metal color, like this is iron. This is rust. I don't know if you can see the difference. So this entire patch is rust. Whatever in the middle here. Same thing here. From here and on, it's all rust. So you can remove this pretty easily. If you put it into a uh, vinegar, they'll show their true color. So this is rust too. This is all rust. This is iron. This is all rust. This is still rust too. You know, rust. Rust. So it's uh, uh, we still have <laughs> a long way to go, you know, like you can see the difference in color. This is rust right in the gap. And this is probably rust. And this is all rust. Okay, everyone, I think I've left the grace in this uh, second bottle of uh, clear vinegar for... For probably another... Um, another seven days it's about a week and it became like this again um i i i'm not sure do grates get rusty uh in vinegar itself i don't know so 
um, now let me pick one one of this up, and it's a lot of a. Uh, um, it's a lot of uh, flakes in this. I don't know what these are. I cleaned the uh, the grates really really well last time uh, with the wire brush. So what are these? You see, it's a lot of uh, a lot of flakes. What are these? I don't understand. Right? I. I used the wire brush and thoroughly cleaned this up. Where is this from? Oh, you know what? I put a lot of uh, salt in this before, but I don't think these are salt. So, as you can see, I I've pulled them out, you know, the gray out. It's not a lot of rust anymore. I haven't rinsed them, I will. Uh, but you see, here, this is the rust, the new rust exposed. Okay, and there you know you can see some rust this is one and this whole thing is rusted so I'll remove them but there isn't really much left <clears throat> but it's so interesting that what are this I really don't know are this just salt you know the kosher salt I put in I'm not sure and the color here, it looks a little bit rusty. So I'm not sure. See a lot of flakes. What I would recommend is uh, when you do the uh, vinegar bath, just do it one week straight or two weeks because it takes some time, you know. Uh, and then you do the wire brushing. Alright, um, folks, this is it. <clears throat> Look at this. And the whole thing, uh, this part has become... See, it used to be like this, now it's like this. Yeah, I think uh, this is well cleaned up. This is the, the grill. This used to be covered by, you know, some gunk. Uh, same with... Uh, same thing happened to here and here, and now it's all uh, restored. It's a, a lot of rust. It's all over the places. You can see the the wires from the wire brush. So I think I still need to clean this mess up. But um, it's a long journey. You know, it takes weeks. And now I think we're getting to the end of it. So right now I'm applying this uh, grapeseed oil onto the grate, just like so. And then I'll uh, put the grate into uh, the, the oven. Um, and bake it at 400 degrees for uh, about 30 to 40 minutes. All right, so um, this is my oven, and uh, so I seasoned this uh, twice, and then I baked them, um, you know, the grates in the oven for uh, I, I think in total probably three four hours. So as you can see, it's amber color now. Right now, as you can see, um, the grills are um, cleaned up a little bit more. Now you can see the grates. This have been uh, seasoned, so it's very much like how um, you know when you reseason your cast iron. It's gonna look like this. It's an amber-ish color, um, and uh, you can feel the protection. It's not rod iron anymore and you see how thin this part has become if it gets rusted again i think it's gonna be gone um, overall i would not um do this again because uh, it it costs way more than 30 dollars with which i could have you know bought some new grace <clears throat> and it's gonna look much better right um but this is just for the spirit, for the experiment. Um, 
yeah, so I spent hours, like tens of hours, you know, um, brushing them, um, <clears throat> um, and then I waited for, you know, more than two weeks. Um, I left them in vinegars. It's a ten gallons worth of vinegar. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of work, a lot of fun. Uh, but then I wouldn't do it again. Um, you know, if it's just surface rust, sure. You know, you can even just uh, brush them away using this wire brush. But then, if it's something this bad, no. You know, just you know, brush off the surface rust and just keep using them. Okay, and now um, let's uh, try to uh, you know turn the grill on and and see uh, what's going on. Yep, and the grill is working uh, just fine now. When I just got the grill, this whole uh, row you know won't work. You the 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 gas wouldn't be able to come out, and same thing here. Basically, this entire half wouldn't work. Same goes with here. And now the entire thing works. This is beautiful, you know, compared to how it was when I just got it. It's fabulous. And looking at the thermometer, it seems uh, if you close the lid, within a minute or two, it gets up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You see, it's it's uh, right there it's getting to 400 so it works pretty well but this is on high heat as you can see here this is on high heat yep it got right across 400 degrees at this point so it can get really hot so look at that folks um, I got some grill marks going this side is done. Let's cook the other side. 